Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the last module on our Part 3 Advanced Series on the Seven Figure Mastery Program. In this module, we'll be looking at Pinterest, a great platform when it comes to driving massive traffic to your content and even product pages on your sites. Pinterest offers users the chance to own an online bulletin board. Users can keep almost anything there is to find on the internet and pin it to their desired boards. This includes blog posts, videos, ads, and news, anything with active permalinks. In the five years since it was founded in 2010, it's managed to get more than 15 million viewers and an increase of over 145% of users since 2012. According to studies, two years after its launch, Pinterest was dubbed the new leading referral traffic generator at 3.6%. Twitter is barely edging over 0.1% towards the newcomer within the same year. Their mobile application itself has been downloaded up to 100 million users since 2017. Here's a shocking fact. Almost 50% of U.S. online shoppers have made purchases recommended by Pinterest. If you run an online business, this should definitely be one way to generate the type of massive income you've always dreamed of. Your Guide to Pinterest The idea of Pinterest is to provide you with a virtual board that you can pin anything endlessly. The Pin or Save button will allow you to save interesting stuff you find in Pinterest onto your boards. Boards are your, well, boards. You can create multiple boards in Pinterest and name them according to what you want that board to be. Some other features of Pinterest include the Send Pin button, or commonly known as the Share button, and the More button, which allows you to download the image, report the pin, or even copy the link of the pin. Another unique Pinterest feature is the Tried It button. It signifies your action towards the pin that you saved, whether you've tried it or not. Like any other social network application, you'll need an email to register. Go to Pinterest for business and click Join as a business. Fill out details about your business and the person who will manage the profile. Read and accept the business terms of service and click Create Account. Registering for a business account will allow you to access Pinterest analytics, create ads, and promote pins. Pinterest will then prompt you to fill in your website details, link your main website here, so that you can generate traffic to it from here. Once you've filled in the required fields, you will be prompted to choose your topics of interest. Pinterest will automatically fill up your home page with the same relevant theme of your choice. You will then be directed to your page. Now, the most important thing that you will need to do is brand yourself. If you are an online business, make sure that you put your business's logo or any relevant branding photos your business has as the profile picture. Then you will need to fill in the About section of your profile. Now you need to create your own boards. Your profile is nothing without any relevant boards that would reflect your business. There are no black and white rules on how you want to name your boards, but it is crucial for you to understand that Pinterest's search is based on keywords and tags. Say, for example, your business specializes in plus-size fashion for women and one of your boards is labeled Plus Size Styles Lace. Both titles contain the subject matter of your profile, which is Plus Size Fashion. Pins are posts, images, links, news, or anything with permalink posted in Pinterest. Every pin is reflected by a certain image, and that image works to attract users to view your pins and repin them. This also may result in them following your account, making a purchase, or visiting your main website. How to market your product through Pinterest? Step 1. Go to your Pinterest profile page and click the Add button on the top right of the screen. You have two options to choose from, Upload Photo or Save from Site. Since you're linking a website to market to users, click on the Save from Site option. Add the link of your website into the box provided. Once you paste the link, Pinterest automatically detects relevant images from the link. Choose the most significant image. 
Next, create a board or choose your preferred board to put that pin into. If you want to edit your saved pins, click on the pin and you will see five options underneath your pins. Click on the Pencil Image button to bring up the Edit Pin window. Once you're done, click the Save button and you're all set. Pinterest is astonishingly effective as a platform to drive traffic to your website. In fact, studies have shown that a pin alone can generate up to two page visits and six page views on average with more than 10 repins and this can go on for months. Imagine the dividends over time. To attract users in Pinterest, you need an eye-catching, high-definition image and a working link. Also, I'm for likable pins rather than pins filled with comments. Likable pins usually end up saved to users' boards. Also, if you upload an image, ensure that you add your website link to your image. This helps people find you. Ensure that you optimize your Pinterest profile for search engine optimization, or SEO. This includes your profile, pins as well as your boards. Ensure that you have SEO-friendly keywords in these areas. Your pins description is also important here. You should ensure that it's helpful, detailed, and interesting. This will help you increase your pin engagement. Lastly, time matters. You want as many people as possible to repin your stuff, so the more people are able to see your pins, the repinned material can be seen by followers of the user who repinned it. Research more on your audience demographics from Pinterest analytics. Then use the information to decide on the best time to pin to reach your target audience.